All right, a children's storybook about a boy and his adventures in the woods of Door County. We have the star here today, Wyatt, to tell us about your grandpa's book. And this is Harold. He actually wrote the book. So can you, can you give us a little gist of what this book's about? Sure. Well, Wyatt's Woods is an adventure story that takes place in Door County. It's about a boy and his best friend, his dog, Bailey, and their woodland animal friends who have many adventures as they search for a lost fort that Wyatt's learned about in school. And uh, they don't find the fort, but instead they find a Native American amulet, Ooh. a beautiful magical amulet that was carved by a Potawatomi boy 350 years earlier. But now Wyatt has a decision to make. <laughs> should he keep that beautiful and valuable amulet, or should he return it to the tribal members whose ancestor had carved it so long before? Okay. So, Wyatt, did you have some help in, in finishing up this book? Did you get to give some of your ideas? Um, I think a couple. And, and you're the star of the book. It's mm -hmm. called Wyatt's Woods. What do your friends think of that? Um, they think it's pretty cool. My friend Reese. Uh-huh. Um, he's doing a book report about it. Oh, so they get to use it in school. That's really neat. Now, what inspired you to write something like this and write it about this part of our state? Well, we have a home that we go to in Door County, just, out, just off Clark Lake. And um, Wyatt was with us from the beginning, with Wyatt's Woods from the beginning. When we purchased the property, he was two, three months old, and he was there beside us in his little baby carrier as we oh. were signing the papers to buy Wyatt's Woods. And ever after that, from the time he could walk, he spent many, many hours with Grandma <laughs> going through Wyatt's Woods, discovering and learning about the animals and the Wild, uh, the wildlife yeah. and the plants and things that they could find. Then they'd come back and look it up in books to see what oh, they neat. find more information. So well, Wyatt's been a part of Wyatt's Woods. And I more than he even knows, I guess, huh? From before he could even remember. All right. Well, thank you for coming in, Harold, and sharing your inspiring story with us. And Wyatt, thanks for waking up extra early this morning. I know you still have school to go to. It's going to be a tiring day. Now, you can find his signing of his children's book on Sunday from 1 to 3 at Novel Ideas in Bailey's Harbor. He also has more coming up. For a complete list of his book signing events, you can just visit our website at NBC26.com. We'll be right back.